Um, hello, we are the Spin Kings. We're here at DLR in the MV Hub um, for the Spin Your Thesis Human Edition. And we are looking at uh, the change of the effect of centrifuge and exercise on the intervertebral discs. So in space, uh, certain morphologies happen to the intervertebral discs, which increases herniation risk to astronauts post-flight. Um, as a countermeasure, artificial gravity has been proposed, and so we're looking at uh, the immediate effects of um, uh, artificial gravity and centrifugation on the discs uh, using ultrasound. So uh, we're using ultrasound as it's an imaging modality and it um, basically uses sound waves uh, to image a reflection back and that's how we get the image on our tablet here. It's great because it's non-invasive, it's portable, it's compact as you can see and um, it's fast, so much faster than putting someone through a scanner. Um, it has a range of uses um, that are, are applicable to the hospital setting as well, so for diagnosis and to help with procedures. Um, and we also know it can be used safely in space, so that's what we're here for. For this year's Spin Your Thesis campaign, I think it's been a really good learning opportunity for us as students, BSc, MSc, even PhD. Um, it's been great uh, being involved in human centrifugation, some of us for the first time, but um, also I think a really nice learning opportunity for us is integrating different teams working on the same subject simultaneously. Um, we have to collect our data, someone else has to collect their own data, we have to work and compromise, integrate those protocols and I think that's something I haven't had before. Um, and so yeah, a lot of collaboration involved, we've had great experiences outside of the work, it's just been nice making new friends as well, hopefully future colleagues. Um, so all in all I think it's been a great success. We're the Spin Doctors and our team is a collaboration between the Simon Fraser University in Canada and the Medical University of Graz in Austria. Uh, we are studying how we could improve blood pressure regulation in astronauts because this is still a problem when the astronauts are returning back from space. So in this campaign we are investigating on how artificial gravity together with uh, exercise influences the blood pressure control. This is supposed to happen by muscle activation in the legs, by exercising during the centrifugation process. We are also constantly monitoring calf muscle activity through electromyography. Calf muscles play a key role in increasing the venous return to the heart and thereby contribute to the overall blood pressure regulation and blood distribution in the system, which is why we are highly interested in how the muscles behave during centrifugation. It's really important that the systems work together, especially uh, when standing in an upright position or while exercising. And for this, we're doing a so-called stand test, which consists of different parts. First, the participants are lying, then standing still, then doing squats, and then standing still again. And this is done before and after centrifugation. And while we do the test, several parameters are measured, like heart rate, blood pressure, we do an ECG, and they are standing on a force plate uh, which detects minimal movements and for this we can see this way. We are also using electroculography to study their movements. We want to measure their movement to understand how artificial gravity affects our vestibular system. The vestibular system is our sensory organs that allow us to maintain balance. It was a great experience working here at the centrifuge with the experts from DLR and ESA. Our team is trying to research the psychophysiological response of astronauts in stressful environments. Also, we want to test a new method of musical preselection scientifically uh, for, the, for the astronauts' crews involved in a long-term space flight. Uh, we use a device called Myoton who measure the stress um, on the subject with down muscle and uh, yes, it, it shows how the, the subjects are stressed. We use also the um, galvanic skin conductance who measure also the stress levels on the subject um, before, during and after the spin. We are taking saliva samples from the subjects, uh, two before the spin and two after the spin. They have one saliva sample at home 
in a really relaxant environment and we are taking the three samples here in the MV Hub and we are trying to measure the cortisol and cortisol levels from the saliva which could show us the stress levels as a hormonal aspect. We are expecting that astronauts could use our results to reduce psychophysiological stress levels during long-term space flights. Ha, 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 ha.